This is the ESOcast. Cutting edge science and life behind the scenes at ESO, the European Southern Observatory. ESO operates three world-class observatories in Chile. Astronomers use these telescopes to study objects both close to home in the solar system and all the way out to the furthest reaches of the known universe. Observations with ESO telescopes have led to many breakthroughs in astronomy and, over the years, have been responsible for some truly remarkable findings. Here is our list of ESO's top 10 astronomical discoveries so far. Astronomers using ESO's very large telescope have discovered by far the brightest galaxy yet found in the early universe and found strong evidence that examples of the first generation of stars lurk within it. Stars that were previously only theoretical. These massive brilliant objects were the creators of the first heavy elements in history. Elements that are necessary to forge the stars we see around us today. The planets that orbit them and life as we know it. ESO telescopes have provided definitive proof that long gamma ray bursts are linked with the climatic explosions of massive stars, therefore solving an enduring mystery. A telescope at La Silla was also able to observe the visible light from a short gamma-ray burst for the first time, showing that this family of objects most likely originates from colliding neutron stars. The planet, which is known as GJ1214b, was studied as it passed in front of its parent star and some of the starlight filtered through the planet's atmosphere. The atmosphere was found to be either mostly water in the form of steam or dominated by thick clouds or haze. Using ESO's VLT, astronomers measured the age of the oldest star known in the Milky Way. At 13.2 billion years old, the star was born in the earliest era of star formation in the universe. Uranium was also detected in a Milky Way star and used as an independent estimate of the
has a mass about five times that of Jupiter, orbits a failed star, a brown dwarf, at a distance of 55 times the average distance between the Earth at a truly revolutionary finding that the cosmos is not only expanding but that it is doing so at an increasing rate. The findings of the separate teams were based on observations of exploding stars or supernovae including measurements made from ESO's telescopes at La Silla and Paranal. This discovery was rewarded with the 2011 Nobel Prize in